Good morning, incredible Vulcan community. How are we? I uh, just thought I'd quickly drop a line with a bit of inspiration that came about uh, in the food world. So, hi guys, for those of you who haven't met me over in New Zealand, I'm Shana X Lee on Facebook, and I am the food wizard, the uh, the nutrition and food guru. So, I try to find ways of empowering you all to understand that just because there's a food list that looks quite full on and, and um, restricted there's actually so much room to move with this and there's so much you can create so um, after a few incredible sessions the last couple of um, days here at Vulcan in Yatla uh, I am always coming up with random uh, dishes that I just make up on the spot so I will do my best to remember to share them on here as much as I possibly can if you're a client who has received one of those in your follow-up program profiles feel free to play with it and share it with everybody so that we can all um, see the different creations that are possible but um, there's a few things that have come up that a few people wanted some more information on and so you will see in the description of this post that I've actually put in um, a recipe that I've created. It's called a dinner soup um, or an epic healthy Alfredo sauce. Now, the one that I've made is for Guardian, who's on the cusp of Guardian Diplomat, and he has a lot of mushrooms that are really, really, really good for him, and he really needed a dinner time light dish that he could have that was going to be delicious and nutritious but easy for his body to digest because for Guardians, you really want to be having something easy to digest later in the evening so as you will see in the post above it's called um, the dinner, dinner soup or a healthy alfredo sauce so when we're making soups they're actually really, really helpful to freeze and you can use them for multiple purposes so a soup can be used as a pasta sauce a soup can be used thickened with some cannellini beans or whatever your top legume is blitz it through and you've got a dip um, and in this instance, what I've done is made it as, and you'll see the ingredients above, as a fully mixed um, mushroom soup. So you would refer back to your profile with any of these recipes that we share and make sure you cross-check each of the ingredients and see which ones are a yes or a no. So if you couldn't have mushrooms, you could actually totally just use pumpkin. And you would use... Uh, you could use pumpkin, you could use, uh, if you want to get funky with colours, you could use beetroot. If you want to get, um, leave it quite bland, you could totally just do it with, uh, and I have done a mac. I will, I promise I will share because a lot of you want to hear about it. I have a, a famous macaroni and cheese sauce that is all vegetable. Yeah, yeah, it's vegan. You can totally add your own chicken, but the actual sauce itself is incredible. Really, really good with good fats, good um, good vegetables. There's about five vegetables in there that you would not even know. Uh, so that's a definite winner. But with this sauce that I've shared here, it was more about getting in as many of the different top vegetables that he had on his list in a creative way that he could use in multiple different types of dishes. So you would make this soup and then freeze some portions of it as a pasta sauce for later on. Yes, I said pasta, and I'm going to get to that in a minute, where pasta can actually still be utilized in your dishes without um, being, being something that's not so ideal for your body. So remember, it's very important for you to remember, whatever the app is saying right now, it's not us telling you you can or can't have these things. It's literally the fact that your DNA has been measured and we've put your DNA, not your emotions, not your requirements, not your social expectations. We have put your DNA into the machine, into the data source, and that has came, uh, that has then transmuted that into a profile that is exactly what your DNA is requiring right now. Um, and, and that's outside of social expectations. That's outside of your emotional reactions to things and what you would normally do to get by in your day. So understanding that whatever is coming out in the app or the machine is not what we're telling you to do. It's what your DNA is innately begging you to listen up and implement. And just know that whatever it says is not forever. It is only for your body to heal and get better and be able to cope with whatever you're bombarding it with constantly. So please know that whatever the machine, the app is saying for you right now is not forever. But if you take the time to implement the changes that are suggested for you in alignment with what your DNA needs, then there will come times where it will shift and change and you will have a greater array of options 
but at the moment to heal your body and get it more capable of functioning in a base level your body needs these things so it's no one doing this to you it's the fact that we've measured your dna and this is the response that it is desperately asking for that being said, I know a lot of people cry about not having pasta on their dishes, and I would like you all to jump into your Shea uh, virtual assistant app and go in and see whether you've got legumes such as black beans, green beans, mung beans. I'm gonna see if I can switch my screen around here and share with you guys. So if black beans are on your list or green beans or mung beans or red beans, there's a multitude of different legume pastas now. These would be what you would look out for. And you can get these from some Coles supermarkets now. You can get these from um, a lot of your flanneries, a lot of your health food shops, Go Vida. All the places do all of these pastas. So you can actually go in and make sure they don't have any added flour. <coughs> sorry, added flour. And if they don't, if they're just the beans and whatnot, you can totally have them. Most of them are gluten free, which is awesome for some of you who need to have your stomach healed so that you can start to cope better with life. Um, just know that these are a cool option for you to be able to have pasta um, and that would go perfect with this recipe that I've added above in the post um, and your body would happily respond to that. Now I also had someone asking about cost saving um, with shopping. When you go shopping don't get your fruit and veggies from Coles unless they've got a really big yellow ticket and it's saying a massive saving. You are far better off to find a fruit and veggie barn. Um, there are so many of them around Brisbane and around the Gold Coast you just need to get on Google or Google Maps and Google fruit and veg in my area and go find them. They are well worth it. I can normally buy a gigantic box for about $30 or $40 and that will do my entire week and I eat I eat a, a mass amount of vegetables. Um, and so just know that it can be as cheap as you want. Those of you who say it's too expensive to buy vegetables, I will call you out because I guarantee you that buying meat is far more expensive than buying vegetables. Um, so we are not only saving your health, we're also saving your wallet. Um, the other one is, you've probably heard it before, but sticking to the aisles on the outside of the shopping centers is best. That's where all your fresh stuff is. Um, buying things, if you've got legumes coming in, yes, it's easy to buy a can, open it and use that rather than soak something overnight and then boil it until it's cooked and then use it for things out of the fridge or the freezer. Uh, I get that, but at the end of the day, a lot of you, especially the guardians and the diplomats and some connectors are really needing to lower your sodium. If you don't lower your sodium, it can become some issues later on so thinking about things that are in cans 99% of the time have got a maximum amount of sodium in them and they will rinsing them will help yes take the um, the brine or the serum off of things um, but making them yourself from from the dried state reconstituting them overnight and then boiling them is your cheapest and best way you can buy a 500 gram packet of legumes or a kilo packet of legumes for only a couple of dollars and then have that last you a month and a half rather than buying $2 cans constantly. Food for thought, um, or food for change. Um, the other thing, swapping ingredients. So generally, if you're someone who can't have tomato, try swapping it out and adding pumpkin, cooked pumpkin, roasted pumpkin into your dishes as a similar sauce substitute. Um, when things are in a, a color that's not so good for you, you do want to try and switch it out for foods that are better for you. Um, and, and below this, if you've got a vegetable that's coming up that says you cannot have and you're perplexed as to what you can add in instead, pop it in the comments below and let me assist you in finding an alternative that would work out effectively in taste comparison, texture comparison. Um, what else? I think that's about it. I would love to see you guys play with this and try it out. Um, you can see that I've added some adaptions down the bottom that if you wanted to, you could turn this into an awesome fish dish, uh, an awesome chicken dish, uh, as, a, as a beautiful sauce with some pasta. So try some different recipes. Don't be too scared. I, we would love to see you guys with your creations, posting your pictures constantly because that way it's sharing is caring and you will be motivating each other to constantly be looking at new, fresh ideas. And who knows, you just might enjoy it. Have a great day, guys.